Good morning to all of you. This video is for the law of tort students. Friends, there was a question regarding the occupier's liability or liability for dangerous premises act. So please remember when the premises in which you are residing or in your property is located, when anywhere you it is dangerous or when you know that they are dangerous, when you ought to know that they are, this is also important, you are supposed to know. When you ought to know that they are dangerous, definitely you have got a responsibility to protect the lawful or unlawful visitors from the from getting damaged with the danger. So, mana illu, mana kathilsu, mana property, mana kathilsu. That is why there is a danger. Suppose you construct a house very recently, then that polished bundle, polished bundle, that means that it will be called. If you want to get a coconut, that coconut will be called. Yes, definitely they will become dangerous. They will become dangerous premises. Therefore, you have got a responsibility. In England, there is an act called as the Occupiers Liability Act 1957. Of course, in India it is not there. So, please remember, this lays a duty toward the lawful visitor and toward the trespasser also. Let us discuss the duty towards the trespasser. That is more important because the question was given on the topic. Please remember, who is a trespasser first of all? Trespasser is a person who enters the premises of another without any invitation or without any license or having entered so tried to commit some offense so he is a trespasser for example you go to the can you go to the office of an mla of your area yes 100 percent because he's a public officer you are go you are going you are not a trespasser but if you go and peep into the bedroom of the mla you are a trespasser that's the main difference i told you in detail in the, the trespass ab initio right so what are the duty towards the trespasser? Please remember, definitely even a trespasser, even he is a trespasser, you have got a right to <coughs> see that nothing harm happens to him. So we will discuss a couple of case laws. Number one, Sundari versus Union of India, 1971. Actually, Sundari's husband, who was a season ticket holder, he was he was crossing an unmanned railway level crossing gate. Unmanned railway level crossing gate. Right. Actually, he was in a hurry to catch the train. Therefore, he wanted to cross the railway gate or rush to the railway station then board the train. But the train has already been coming. He was knocked down by the passing train and he died. Then... She filed a case stating that the railways have got a responsibility to save the passengers. Do you agree? 100% don't agree. He himself is a trespasser. When the gate is there or when an unmanned railway level crossing gate, he has to look to both sides and then only cross the same. Is it not? He cannot abruptly or hesitantly go. If he goes, this the thing happen. Railways cannot be held liable for the death of this person. No doubt they will give a claim for a compensation. That's a different thing. But whether there is negligence, whether the responsibility of the railways is there or not, this is a question to be decided. So it is clearly stated that uh, <coughs> the railways are not liable as the deceased himself was a trespasser. Right? Even then, the liability is there. No, there is no liability cast on the railways because it is an unmanned level crossing gate. If it is a manned level crossing gate, so they may take action against the gate man or railway gate keeper stating that he did not warn him. But here it is no such, such situation is not there. So negative example. Now we will go to another case. Ramanuj Mudali versus Gangan, 1984. So... <clears throat> this is a typical case in which so normally to protect the property that is uh, to protect our crop normally people in villages they will be actually giving connection to the or electric live wire connection will be given while coming back particularly during the night times I mean Markapur, Kambam of course even in Koli area also there we have seen one case so what they do is they will uh, give electric live connection, electric wires. Uh, of course, they don't give any warning because uh, it is totally illegal or unofficial. So, 
our gangan he laid live electric wires without giving any visible warning same story so the plaintiff actually who was uh, walking through the clan actually he was supposed to go to his land normally they walk through across the lands because they are well so he stepped on the live wire and he got electrocuted so he injured he got injured then he filed a case what is your liability as an occupier of the house uh, occupier of the land what is your liability you have to take all precautions to prevent uh, the lawful visitors to prevent the trespassers from getting injured if you have erected some warning message then they would have been careful without that since you have done definitely you have got a liability to pay compensation is yes, held in favor of the person who is electrocuted and uh, occupiers liability towards children this is also more important please already i told you that great western ireland case uh, this is cook versus midland great western railway of ireland 1907 already we discussed the case there was a turn table and uh, the railway workman was in the upstairs and whenever the train comes uh, he will turn the chime and actually the railway people they have arranged fencing around the turn table but people youngsters or boys used to come there and play there and actually they have made a hole to the fencing they used to go to the turn table and play the worker in the upstairs or in the signal cabin he did not take much care about their young boys let them play he let them off but it so happened that on that perfect full day the son of mr cook who is every 4 or 4 hours was uh, actually playing around the turn table and suddenly when that gate man he has uh, switched immediately his leg was caught in between uh, the rails and he received injuries so definitely the liability of the railways is definitely there even he was a trespasser but please remember in this case the court held that this boy was not a trespasser he was a licensee because previously he used to come and uh, play there the people allowed them so therefore he is a licensee they have got a responsibility since they failed in the responsibility they have to pay compensation very good case so friends remember this is the topic relating to liability of the occupier towards the dangerous premises right thank you very much